Welcome to this early access look at a new map coming soon to all platforms on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Six Ashes. This is a new map coming soon to PC and console. Uh, this is by GB Modding, uh, the map maker behind Little Norton. I've been lucky enough to be sent an early access um, version of this to have a look at, as I did with Little Norton. I only do map tours on my PC if it's something that's going to be coming to console because I'm a console gamer. Um, but he was kind enough to send me a version, said could I have a look at it. There was no pressure to do anything, put up some pictures, do a video, whatever I wanted to do. I haven't done it up to now, simply because my controller was broken and I couldn't do it on PC properly. That's now fixed, so here we are. I've put some extra money in because there's something I'm going to show you as we go around. Um, this is a really nice map. At the moment it's 426.4 megabytes. As far as slots go for console, we won't know until it actually gets released to console what the slot counts are going to be. Um, this is, I suppose, technically still a work in progress. I don't think it's been submitted to Giants yet. Um, but a really nice map nonetheless. What we'll do is we'll go into the menu and we'll have a look. This is the map. The PDA is taken from a real Google Maps image. This is a real area. The map sizes, uh, the field sizes are all to scale. Um, what do we start with on New Farmer, which I'm, I always do my map tours on New Farmer. Um, on New Farmer we start with Field 51, we start with a farmhouse, um, or I say a farmhouse, we start with a, f well yeah, technically, we'll explain that as well, farm silo and a fuel point. Um, we do start with a little bit of machinery, but that we're going to go into um, kind of at a later date as well. Field prices aren't too expensive. Um, a lot of them come as double plots, not all of them. Um, but as you can see, 97 grand, 109, 443. I'll explain why that's different in a minute. Um, so what we're going to do is very quickly go around on here, because what I'm going to show you is um, that certain things on here you need to own for them to work and you need to own for the triggers to be shown. Um, so if we start here at Pine View, if we buy Pine View Farm, for example, uh, for 125,000 and we buy the land, the pig pen shows up. So Pine View is a pig farm. Um, Beechwood Fishery is, there's a couple of lakes there. If you buy that, um, you need to own the land. You'll get paid a certain amount every day um, because you own the fishery. So it's making you a bit of money. If we come down here to Black Acres Farm, Black Acres Farm is just an arable farm. So if you own that, no other um, livestock things will come up. That's just an arable farm. I've got seven stores. The Honey Pot Allotment... I wonder if that is that linked to the that might be links then. I don't recall buying that. That's weird. Okay, well the honeypot allotment, uh, which we'll get to later on, um has got it might be that plot as well. I'll buy that too. Um that's got beehives and it's got some um greenhouses on. Um, so again, if you put manure and water into the greenhouses, you'll get a certain amount of money per hour. Um, and same from the beehives, but you, own, you need to own the plot of land. CJ Farms down here is quite an expensive plot, 443,000. I say quite expensive, it depends how you look at it. Um, if we buy that plot, we get chickens, we get sheep, and we get cows on that plot. Um, biogas plant is nice and cheap, 53,000. Again, to use the biogas plant, you need to own it. We've then got Charlotte's Livery Stables and Stud. If we buy that, we get a horse enclosure up here on there. Uh, and then I think the last one is up here. It's the Udder Dairy Farm. Makes me smile every time I say it. That is the most expensive plot, and that's going to be one you either put some money in, start on that, or you're going to build up to that. 1,137,940. You do get quite a few fields within all of that. Again, this may change. You might not get all the fields on the final release. I think it's going to stay as it is. But if we buy that plot, we get cows, we get sheep up here, but we also get a sheep pasture out here as well, which we're going to have a look at in a little while. So I wanted to show you those bits first. You do need to own all of those plots for the things to come up, um, and then you can do whatever you want to do um, on them. So from the pub we always seem to start a pub on uh, gp modding's maps i'm just going to come out onto the main road or say main road side road um sam cider the cider house if we just whiz this way a second we've got a buy point here for lime 
just tucked in here out of the way. There's loads of detail on this map. And it's one thing I think I found on Little Norton going around that as well, um, was the amount of detail. Um, and considering it's only 426.4 megabytes, again, what that will translate to as slots, I'm not too sure. I'll show you the vehicles and stuff we start with in a minute because I want to get up to the um, to our kind of main farm where we start and then we'll look at starting equipment and things like that. Uh, there are no hedge collisions for vehicles and for yourself. That said, I have found in the past that hedge a map with no hedge collisions won't let harvester headers through and sometimes bales or pallets and things like that. It all depends on how the map maker has done it. So this is the, the Beechwood fishery. That's if you own the land, there's a couple of little ponds, lakes on here. So it's kind of treated as a fishery. If you own it, you make a bit of money from it. There's another one up the top here. And there's a little bit of camping just through there. Now, it, it's also, it's only a two times map, but it has a very large feel to it. You may not be a fan of English maps, British maps, um, but even if you're not, I think you'll, even looking around it, you'll, you'll really kind of appreciate what's gone into it. It's a very picturesque map. Um, it is seasons ready, seasons compatible, which is nice as well. Um, we're going to get a vehicle in a minute, don't worry, and then we'll whiz around a little bit quicker. But when we get to these crossroads here, so we've kind of headed kind of northwest-ish. We come to this crossroads, and we've got a farmhouse just here, which is what we start with on New Farmer. Um, we have a doormat. So it's not actually the farmhouse itself, it's the doormat that is your sleep trigger. Um, again, you can sell that, and the beauty of this, as we go around, you'll see, you can pick anywhere to be your start farm if you want to. It doesn't have to be here. Um, but as we go around the back... We have a greenhouse, but there's no points on here for putting in water or um, manure, so that's just their aesthetics. But we do have a workshop trigger up the back here, which is going to become more relevant in a moment as we come across the back of the field. Now, on the mod hub, this does say, and the premise behind this is that um, your grandfather has left you the farm. It's a bit derelict, a bit run down, needs some work. Can you make it all, all kind of work? which is where this comes in. Now this is something you, you don't have to go with, you can just get rid of it straight away if you want to, but this can add a bit of narrative to the whole thing. I haven't seen this done very often. I think Alien Jim is one of the few people I've seen do this, um, but it's, it's a really nice touch. We've got our farm silo just here and some old derelict buildings. And the machinery we start with is all here in a shed. So you've got the shed here with all the stuff and there's a couple of bits of machinery around the side. We've got a fuel tank there, but that needs to be filled. There's nothing in that. You need to put fuel into it. But the thing about it is, you can't actually get your vehicles out of here. If I jump into the tractor, and you'll see, bottom right, it needs complete repair. It's almost out of fuel. But there's barrels in front, which I'll try and bounce over if I want to. My harvester is right at the back, so is the pickup. And this is a nice feature of this, so it's probably the best time to show you all the uh, what we start with. Um, so if I go across, no, that's not the one. Uh, what do I want? I want that menu. Uh, go to garage. So we start with the Fiat 1300DT, the Bison Super and the pickup, which are in the barn, you can see. We've got a, a corn header, we've got a subsoiler, we've got a weeder, and then we've got the house doormat which again you can move anywhere you want but then we've got this decoration um so on here it says sell these items to clear the abandoned yard so what you can do straight away if you don't want to have a narrative to your storyline if you're not doing a youtube video or something like that if we just go on there and sell that immediately all of the stuff here that was in the way has been sold got rid of cleared you know whoever came and got it well done for you um so then we can get to our vehicles what i'm going to do is move this forward we'll jump in the pickup now again, it may not be your cup of tea that the vehicles all need repair, they've got a few hours on them, that kind of thing. Uh, you may want to sell these, swap them out, get something new. Again, that is entirely your prerogative when you start playing. But I'm going to grab the pickup. And we're going to head out. What I'm first going to do is go to our workshop and I'm just going to repair it. Then in a little while I'll grab some fuel for it. But I, I think that's a nice feature. It's a clever little touch. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be on there. A lot of maps don't have it. Let's repair it. It wasn't too expensive to repair. I haven't got a jet wash at the moment or anything like that, so we'll just have to go around in a dirty pickup. But don't worry about that either. So, 
from here we'll have a whiz round and we'll have a look at all the stuff on the map hopefully you'll get a kind of feel for it um, the detail involved the landscape as we go around there are different I mean all over the map it's just kind of looking out now it's it's the rolling landscape of Britain you know it, it's it's amazing I, I really really like this one um, I'm hoping it comes fairly soon this is a map I want to do a let's play on I absolutely want to do a let's play on this is right up my street so first stop we bought the land already so we've got the pig pen included but this is um, Pine View Farm there are loads of different uh, building types as well what I really do like and I did as well on um, Little Norton is this is not just a, a a plonk you know just a place here's a pig pen bang here's a building bang you know you're in the map and you've got 15 of the same buildings everything seems custom made every farm is different every yard is different the buildings are all different and I really like that that's a really nice touch so we've got our feed and water troughs here for the pigs I love the little kind of mud pit with a bit of water in the bottom there slurry pit just there uh, manure pit and um, we've also got uh, workshop triggers I think at all of the farms there are workshop triggers another fuel point just there but it's little details like this broken walls and there's little water courses running all over the place and I don't know I, I'm I'm and if you can't already tell I'm a real fan of this <laughs> I really am um, so out from here come along there's a little ford here and again really picturesque there's a little footpath over the ford there's going to be parts of this map I'm not going to get a chance to show you and only coming on it when it gets released you're going to be able to kind of have a real look around I'm going to cut across there's a little triangle of road here that goes off to the edge of the map this one goes um, well actually we're going south now southeast but we're coming towards back acres and there's the post office cell point and there's also a silo up here as well now this is the farm that's only arable so when you buy this no animal pens or anything are going to pop up as you can see I mean I suppose we can just take it as red going around this map it's picturesque it looks great it's got a really nice feel to it so there's our post office the cell point I think is directly in front if I'm not mistaken that's all we can do let's go to there let's scroll down post office tag place there we go just in front then we go across the road to back acres farm we've got another tool uh, well, workshop trigger just in it. and again like I say the buildings are all different it's a different layout really big barn built of space there loads of room now I suppose one drawback if you can consider it a drawback is that these are not sellable these are not things that you own these are fixed in place and but I but again I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse it's probably not going to be for the liking of people that like to landscape everything and build a farm from scratch but I think there's enough on here and enough different farms that picking one for your start farm isn't going to be difficult and I also think for doing multiplayer this will be a lovely map because the amount of different farms and the different landscape involved I just think that's you know something that's that's definitely a positive in its favor so we've got another little yard just up here a bit more derelict we've got a silo just to the left and then we're gonna head down to pretty much the bottom of the map and this is the I want to get this right it's a seven seven stores it says on the sign we'll see when we get there now funny story with this this is my second time of recording this seven valley stores so what seven valley stores here the sell point is around the side there but we will have also got a buy point here for fertilizer and seed i think it's fertilizer and seed we'll check the map which are just around here so if we go to the map and we've gone from our farm here past pine view up this little road here so like i said the triangle of road there post office back acres farm uh seed fertilizer and lime silo 
So a silo went past. Now we've got, yeah, seed and fertilizer buy point. There's a lime station in the corner and seven valley stores. So that's where we are at the moment. Yeah, I recorded the entire thing, about 40 something minutes. Edited the whole thing together. Didn't even notice, but when I got to um, render it, and then I thought, right, I'm ready to post it. Realized that for some reason, that when it had recorded, and I don't know how it happened, um, it had recorded zoomed in. So all you could see of the map in the bottom corner was just the word map and the little controller icons. The actual map itself was missing. All of the peripheral stuff, so all the, the finances top right, the menu bottom right, none of it was on the screen. Everything was zoomed right in on the vehicle and you couldn't, I don't know how that happened. So this is my second time of recording this. So unfortunately, rather than it be a true kind of first look, there were parts of this map that when I did the original recording, I hadn't actually been to, um, but now I have, so. But it doesn't bother me at all because I really like it. So. I'm going to head back down now. We're going to get to the crossroads. I'm not going to edit this chart. I'm going to leave this as it is. Um, and we'll try and get around everything. We should get around everything. Um, what I like is this as well. The side roads, all these little country lanes are really quiet. There's not a lot of, if any, traffic. But when we get up to the main road, the traffic is on the main road. I love this Ford. I just think it's oh, brilliant. Um, and the traffic is rapid. I mean, it's a proper main road. Again, another nice feature. It's not crawling along at 20 miles an hour. So we're going to take a left here at this crossroads. We came up from there originally. So we're going up this way. So again, we're kind of heading north, northwest-ish. But looking out to the left as well, the landscape. The hills are not all flat. You've got proper, like, rolling hills. Farming on these is going to be fun. You know, it's not going to be necessarily straightforward, but it's going to be fun. The back end of our yard is just here. And there's an access point there. So the barn where we went and got our vehicles from is just there. It sweeps up across the kind of side of the map there. There's a hillside again. I suppose because it is based on a real place, it's taken from a real... PDA or the PDA is taken from a real Google Maps image this is real landscape you know I mean you could even just have your main farm there if you wanted to stick the doormat buy the land oh that's a good point actually saying that about buying the land um, all the bits of land we bought but you can buy the peripheral stuff let's go to there there we go so if I click on that for example it doesn't cost you anything to buy all the periphery um, but for example, the houses we're going past now, if you did want to put your doormat maybe on one of those, um, or somewhere else on the map, or if you want to put placeables maybe on some that are around some of the cell points, whether it will let you or not, I don't know at the moment, um, because there's a lot of periphery, I can't check all of it. Um, but it's free to buy, um, and it does give you a few more options for placeables and things if you want to go down the route. It's glorious. It really is. And uh, you know, I, I'm not au fait with all, every single PC map that's come out in recent times. GB Modding contacted me around the time that Little Norton was due out and asked me if I would do a map tour and said it was coming to console. It's done the same with this one. If these are the only two maps that GB Modding has done, I, I'll be honest with you, GB Modding has a knack for map making i mean has look at the speed of traffic it's crazy i need to get out quick here and they don't really slow down much either so heading along the main road we're now heading southeast again looking at the bottom left hand corner you can see actually what we'll do is cut in here there's a bit more barn space up over the hill there But we've got a cell point around the back here. Milk trigger just there. This cell point is... Sprouts Farmer's Market. So this cell point is round just through the gap there. Trigger just in there. So this is Sprouts. Um, as we go a little bit further along, and this is something I'm not sure, again, it could be work in progress, it might be something that will work, I'm not sure. I know that the um, 
uh, honeypot allotments work with regard to greenhouses and putting water and manure in. This I'm not sure about, but to me, the look is that it will be. So next sell point is just here. So this is Six Ashes Farm Shop, and this is also the fuel station. So what I'm going to do now, put a bit of fuel in so I don't run out while we're driving around, because we are pretty low. So if we just turn up here, this is what I'm talking about. You've got all these greenhouses, and this is the same on Little Norton at the garden centre. You could do this. Now there are these water butts here on the end, and there is a manure pit at this end here. Now I don't know if these are actual triggers or not, but the fact these are empty, potentially, if you put water and manure in these, these polytunnels could have stuff growing in them. Um, whether that's just aesthetic or whether it'll make you money, I don't know. But again, now, I have been sent some stuff recently to be able to go on, because I'm not that au fait with PC and editing stuff on PC and all the messing around with file, XML files and stuff. But I was sent some stuff by Hank to be able to go in and check triggers on a PC map. I haven't actually got to doing that yet. And I'll be honest, when you're prepping to do a map tour, there's enough to get done with working out where everything is, how you're going to do the map tour, how you're going to show everything, to then spend time going in, checking all the maps on PC to find where all the trigger points are as well. It adds quite a lot of time onto the prep time for doing a map tour. A lot of the times I'm right about where the triggers are, sometimes I'm not, sometimes they're not obvious. But anyway, so that's the next sale point. Moving along the main road, we're going to come to, on the right hand side, just here this is six ashes livestock market got a bit of a horse training area off to the left hand side but the livestock market is just here so that's our livestock market buy sell load or unload for your animals around here we have got barn sale point but we've also got a buy trigger because it's a livestock market we can buy slurry and we can buy manure I always like that as a feature. I know there are placeables to be able to do that, but I like that as a feature on a map. So when you start out, if you want to do slurrying or you want to do muck spreading, you don't have to own loads of animals to be able to do that. You can come to the livestock market and you can buy them. Like I say, there are placeables, so you can put them down anyway on a map if you want to go down that route, but I just think it's a nice feature to have added in. Um, that's just me personally, but... Carrying on on the main road, we come to the main store. This is a New Holland dealership, Six Ashes New Holland. Very nice, fancy, new-looking building. Just here. The reset point is also here, so if you get something stuck, rolled over, can't move it, wedged between trees, whatever it might be, the reset point is out the back here. Plenty of room as well. Your buy point is here. Your um, repair, maintenance, customised point. It's just here. I don't know if these open. Yeah, they do. Some of them do. It's all these touches, the little signs and stuff all over the place. The detailing is amazing. Even New Holland crates. You often find when you go around the maps at a lot of the stores, it'll be whatever the store is, but everyone just, I say everyone, people generally just use the John Deere crates that seem to be knocking around. Um, so yeah, no, it's attention to detail. It's those nice details that change things. So... Round the back of here, Cozy Wool, which is your spinnery sale point. Shouldn't really have backed down to the road, it's completely illegal, but never mind. So your spinnery is just up round the back here. Just there. We don't do any cotton or a lot of cotton in the UK that I'm aware of. Um, mostly wool is going to be sold there, but I think it will. Let's just have a quick check. I think it will to, um, where are we, spinnery, yeah it will do cotton and it will do wool, so if you want to do, for any particular reason, if you want to do cotton, you're more than welcome to, go for it. Um, as to what Geo would go with this if you run Seasons, uh, I'm trying to think now, I think in fact it was seven stores, we're kind of looking Bristol way kind of southwest in the country. I'm trying to think what geos we've got available. But anyway, right, let's turn down here to Quat and Wooten. 
this road here eventually where are we leads you back down so this is the back of the animal dealership livestock barn and buy point this lane takes you all the way back down here to our crossroads where our main farm is um, we don't need to go down there but I just thought I'd you know, point out there are a lot of lanes and cross bits so you can cut across the map it, like I say it has a very big feel to it it's, it's a regular sized map see what I mean it's my fault it didn't look um, right we are going to cut up here and I need to take a turn into my left in a second back on ourselves now this for some reason and I don't know why I get a real Cobra Park farm vibe to this not necessarily the whole map but this bit I don't I don't know why but this this cut back on myself as soon as I did the turn the other day on the map I thought wow Cobra Park farm can't explain why but look out look out across that countryside that is look, these cars are insane mind you I've slowed right down on the main road I guess I'll give them that <laughs> so we are heading up to the Udder Dairy raising up a little bit up the hillside you can see that everything's spread out below there is a bit of forestry around there's forestry all around the map if you want to do a bit of forestry there is a sawmill which we're going to get to later on as well but on my right here is the sheep pasture again you need to own the land for it to pop up as you've already seen but just here in the gateway we've got our buy sell loader unload for sheep we've got our feed trough and there's a water trough just up over the lip here now again, I would assume, I mean it's a more of an educated guess than an assumption I guess. I should stop saying I assume, but my educated guess would be that with seasons running as per usual with the various different pens, they will use the grass in the pen at the right time of the year. Obviously in the winter when there's no grass in there, they can't. But as we keep moving down, we then come to the end of the map is along that straight bit of road. But again, these signs, the other dairy farm, farm fresh milk, is just in here. Again, another farm layout, different buildings, it's not all just plonked. It's not here are five farms, they're all identical. Not at all. So, this part up here is sheep. Do have a bunker silo we have more buildings and i think we've got another workshop yep workshop trigger in there which can be accessed from the side as well this racking is not necessarily in the way but in there um buildings i mean pretty much all the buildings open which is amazing you've got access to all of them we've got a manure point slurry point just there do these open of course they do. Your trigger for buying, selling or unloading cows is just there for this particular one. Feed troughs here and the water trough I think is in the field. There. But this is another really big open field. You know, it's a cow pasture. It's not just a little cow pen. It's not a cow barn. It's a cow pasture. Very nice indeed. So, let's get back in the pickup. We'll head out to the main road. Oh, is that the silo? Where's the collection point for the silo? Just suddenly thought. Um, so, where have we gone from? Just to make sure everyone's au okay fait with where we are. We came along the main road there. Took this fork back. And we are here. So if we zoom in, yeah, it does say farm silo. Where is, is it around the back? For getting stuff back out. Oh, there we go. So getting stuff out of your silo is there. Putting it in is in the building just there. I'm going to head back out to the main road. Oh, 
and the giveaway sign you know it says giveaway I would absolutely give way I'm just thinking playing this if you were trying to pull out of here with your tractor oh blimey you need a nice big gap to be able to get out All right, broad lanes. Let me just turn down here a second. So, let's check the map. Back out into broad lanes. Now, broad lanes will bring us down to Charlotte's Livery Stables. And then we're going to carry around. We've got a few more to do here. So, we've got Sawmill, Honeypot Allotment, CJ Farms. Then we'll head around to the last few sale points. Um, so, what we'll do is head down the road. I'm on the wrong side of the road. You'd think I'd know, living in this country. There are some nice houses on here as well. So, Charlotte's is just here. The horse pasture is there. Feed trough, water trough. We've got our buy, sell, load, or unload. There's a little bit of a workout area here for them. Barn and building space. I, I really like it. <laughs> I mean, you can I love that as well. You go, know, you can take them out. When you own Charlotte's, you get this open space here. You can exercise the horses there if you want to. I just keep wanting to stop and look out across the landscape. Right, we're going to head down towards the sawmill, then round to Honeypot Allotments. Looking for a turning on the left. Should be coming up. There we go. And here's our sawmill. And again, this is not just a plonked sawmill. There we go. Sawmill. Wood chip sale point just there. But what I also like is the trigger for the sawmills inside. It's not just, you know, it's just all a little bit different. That's what I look for in mods. I look for in maps. I, I like that difference. So there's your sawmill. Just over there is Honeypot Allotments, so what we'll do is just swing round because I need to get to them. I think there's a track that runs around the side. When I first did this map tour I wasn't sure and I ended up going um, going through the hedge, not in the vehicle. I went on foot, but I'm pretty sure it's around this way. There we go. Oh, I could have been wrong on this as well. Oh no, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Is there no part of this map that doesn't look fantastic? <laughs> this... I'm not being paid for this, by the way. This, I'm not saying all this just because, you know... <laughs> I've been given the map early, therefore I'm going to be biased. Not at all. So here we go. This is the Honeypot Allotments. So if you put um, your water in there, and if you put your manure in there, you're going to make some money, you'll get stuff growing in the allotments. Although I didn't notice, we we do own this plot of land, but there are no bees. I've noticed there's no bee animation. But these are the bee houses, beehives, bee houses, beehives. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, we have got a little concrete. I say silo. It's not a bunker silo. It's just a concrete area. If you wanted to put crops, if you're going to be doing potatoes and stuff like that, you could pile them up there and then come and collect them later. I mean, you often see them around the UK anyway, but. Uh, right, from here, I think I need to go back out the way I went. We're going to head to CJ. Does that look like a custom crop texture to you? <laughs> potentially, potentially a custom crop texture. That wasn't me doing that dainty sneeze, that was my eldest. <laughs> Before all this, I looked away from the camera and did a very delicate sneeze. No, that wasn't me. So... 
Back out on oh, the main road, it's not a main road. Back out onto the farm track. Carrying on from here. Ooh. Take a left, we are at the bottom of the map now. And what we have here, as we get to the end of the track, is I think the last of the farms we're going to be looking at. So we've gone from Charlotte's, Sawmill, Allotment, then we come down to there, we're up the lane now to CJ Farms, there's a farm silo, and when you buy this, this is the one where you've got chickens, you've got sheep and you've got cows. Um, so the sheep are in here, and I think the trigger is just here in the gate. Plus we've got our water trough and feed trough are in the fields there. Other side, oh, jump over there. We've got chickens, we've got another workshop trigger here at the farm. Trigger for the chickens is just there. Feed trough is in there. Where the egg boxes spawn, I'm not too sure actually. It may be in the building could potentially be in there there's not a hazard marked area that's the workshop tree yeah potentially it's in that building could be out by the other gate here maybe that's all part of the enjoyment when you start playing it working these things out so that's the sheep that's the cows uh, the sheep and the ch chickens the cow side is over here again different bunker silo different design farm layouts different Trigger for our cows is just there. Feed trough. Water trough is out in the field. Where is it? I found it before. There'll be a water trough somewhere. It'd be very unusual for it to have been missed. Sorry point, just there. And manure point, just there. Milk collection there. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I don't know. I Again, like I say, it may, it may not be your cup of tea at all. If you don't like English maps, British maps, European maps, um, and like I said earlier on, even if you don't, you can still appreciate how nice it is. You know, it's a nice map. Right, I'm going to head back up to the lane, back past Charlotte's, out to the main road. And then we've got the last two cell points. We've got Grain Co. and the BGA, I think. I love that, even the horse crossing sign. Nice touches. Right, I need to really keep it on the traffic this time. Whoa. <laughs> Have a look in. We're clear. Let's get out as quickly as we can. Right, heading on. We are still heading southeast to the last of the cell points. There is so much detail. Like I say, I can't show everything. There's going to be so much more that when you come on it, have a look around and, you know, you're probably going to find loads of stuff that I haven't found. I'll say missed. I tried to get in all the main cell points, all the farms and that kind of thing, but there's always bits and bobs that get missed. So this is Grain Co. The cell point is inside the building. Again, it's not that kind of obvious. Here's your cell point. It's a nice feature. It all looks different. I know I've said that before, but it's, it's a fact. That's Grain Co. So back to the map again, we've gone from CJ Farms back up to the, the lane, up past Charlotte's Livery Stables and Stud, along the road here we're at Grain Co, now we're going to go down this lane here to the biogas plant, and that's the last of the points to look at. We've gone around pretty much, yeah, I mean everything um, that we needed to look at, 
there are elements and areas on this map I haven't even been to and shown you. There's other buildings, there's lanes, there's tracks. Um, all with fantastic detail, texturing, scenery. I'm going to pull out in front of a car. I knew it. In front of two, actually. But we're going to take the next turning anyway, so let's get off the main road. <laughs> right. I think it's the sweep of the landscape as well that adds all that extra... What's the word? I don't know. It just adds extra, you know? It's, it, it's what makes it feel more alive and more real and... I don't know. How to put it into words. Right. Down the hill. I think as well because the, the, there's not a kind of clearly defined map edge. It looks like it goes on and on and on. Which also helps, I think. Seven Trent Green Power. So, Digestate Tank is just here. So when you are selling your silage... Um, at the biogas plant. Actually, what is the biogas plant paying out? Let's have a look. Because we did. Did we buy it? Yeah, we did. Um, what is the price at the biogas plant? 900. At the biogas plant, 900 for. That's wood chips, isn't it? Oh, that makes wood chip really viable. It's one thing I've always said. Even the price at the sawmill for wood chip is pretty good. Um, wood chips, unfortunately, on a lot of maps just aren't. You know, unless they're used, I think on La Coronea, they were used for helping to make compost, that kind of thing. That makes them relevant at 900 for a thousand litres. But like I say, anything that then goes into the biogas plant, your um, byproduct is digestate, which you can collect from there. Uh, you've got a couple of bunker silos just there. Again, is this the difference? It's not just a completely flat, you've got a sweep down, they're kind of built into the landscape. And then your cell point for putting in to the digesters is just there. And that's it. That's the map. Um, Six Ashes by GB Modding. A triumph. I, re I just think it's a fantastic map. Um, as to when this is going to be released, I'm not too sure. I'll have to speak to GB um, to find out what's happening with regard to that. Um, he's hoping that it will be released on PC and console at the same time but anyone that kind of understands how that works often PC testing it passes PC testing maps generally do easier than they do console testing that's not to say they always will um, so potentially it could be ready on PC before console I know GB is keen to get it released at the same time but that's not always going to be the case like i say time frame i don't know when that's going to be but this is just a kind of coming to coming to console it will be at some point soon um i hope you found this useful and informative i hope you've enjoyed having a look around it something to look forward to um if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.